Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thunderous Lure Company and I'm so glad you can join us today. Welcome to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. I'm glad because we're out here again fishing salt water and you know how much I love to do that. I'm out here with Claudio, Phil, Antonio, as you know our boatless angler and Dougie back here in the corner. And today folks, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be running Viper Spoons and this bottom rig I'm going to show you here is probably the best bottom rig that you could use while you're either trolling or drifting. And it's a perfect drift rig, which we're gonna do today. We're just gonna drift today. And I'll show you the setup right here, folks. What I've done is I've tied on a T-turn swivel, as you can see right here. And then down from the T-turn, I've gone about two feet to a sinker. And what I've done, folks, is I've tied on a snap, and then I snapped on one of these cattail sinkers. Uh, and this, you could use any sinker you want, but I'm using the cattail because there's rocks down there and I don't want to get snagged up. So, but basically two feet to any sinker. And then I'm running about two and a half feet to a, a viper spoon, two, two and a half feet to a viper spoon. And all I've done to the viper, viper spoon is I've, I've tied on a snap. So I've snapped on the viper spoon. And you want to use a snap, folks, because the snap will allow the spoon to get its maximum flash down there. And the Viper Spoon, for those of you who do not know, is designed to accommodate bait. It'll take a live bait, cut bait, or artificial bait. And what I'm running today, folks, is a whole squid. And that's exactly how you rig a whole squid. You put the tail part on the first hook, and then the second hook through the middle of the body, and the head is hanging off the backside. And now, folks, all we do, very simple setup. We're just going to drop that down. I don't have to worry about anything getting tangled because my T-turn is going to keep me totally tangle free. We're fishing here in about 25 feet of water right now. And quite simply, all we're going to do now is drift. So the sinker is just going to be just touching bottom and the Viper Spoon is going to be about two, two feet off the bottom, flashing and fluttering with the trailing bait. It's the perfect combination and any bottom fish, folks, whatever is down there, they just can't resist that flash and flutter followed by the bait. And today we're hoping to get, well, hoping to get some fluke. It's a perfect fluke flounder and, and halibut rig because they're right on the bottom. And uh, the beauty of this drifting with this setup is no matter as the depths change, our sinker is going to just continuously follow that bottom. So the Viper Spoon will always be two feet off the bottom, always in the strike zone. It's the perfect combination and a great way to fish. So if you like to drift, get a setup like this, get out there, whatever's on the bottom, they're gonna hit. We're gonna find out what's on the bottom today, so stay tuned. Nice hook set, this, Phil. This feels pretty good, Evo. Feels decent? It does, yeah. You need the net? Possibly. This may even be a fluke, I don't know. Oh, it is a fluke. Nice. Yeah. Oh, a fluke. Hang on, I'll get the net. Nice, there's a nice fluke. Phil, get him over here. I thought it felt good. Beautiful, yeah. there you go. Right on. They got nice fluke. 16 inch, Phil. Nice. Beautiful. Nice squid again. You gotta love that. Fluke loves squid. They nice. absolutely love squid. It's pretty strong. Yeah. yeah, and that's the beauty of these rigs. Multiple fish. Whatever's down there, that's what hits. We've got we got 18. Oh, hang on. There's over 16 anyway. Yeah, 17. Beautiful. Have to be. 17 and a half. It's something good. And mind you, this is just a this is just a light rod. But he feels like he's got some weight to him. Lift your left foot. Lift my left foot. Okay. <laughs> I'm standing on the net. That's the thing with these viper spoons, folks. You catch a variety of fish, you never know oh what you're gonna get. Because it's whatever's down there, they're gonna just attack that bait. And look at this, we got a sea bass. Yep. Wow. There's a nice sea bass right there. Very nice. Oh, on the Bleeding Pearl Chartreuse Viper Spoon. Yes. There's a nice sea bass, folks. Variety of fish. Oh. Hey. Good size. This is a lot of fun, folks. This really is a lot of fun. What a way to fish. Bottom fishing right there. Doesn't feel as big. It's another sea bass. It's just a small sea bass right there. Now, I'll tell you what I did too, folks. 
because we've been running these whole squid, what I did was I got a bite, pulled mist, they took the head off my squid. So what I did instead is I scaled down to a strip of squid. So you don't have to use a whole squid. You could use strips if you want. And uh, that's all I'm running is uh, a strip of squid right there. And in order to do that, what I do is I cut the head off the squid and then I cut the squid right up the middle to get a nice V-shaped strip. Then once I've got my V-shape, what I do is I like to peel the thin membrane, thin skin off the top of the, uh, off of the squid and then I've got myself a nice white strip of squid. Then I put it on my viper spoon with the thin part first and the thick part coming off the back side and that makes for a nice streamlined uh, presentation that comes through the water real, real nice. So right now I'm gonna put another strip on, but we're having a great time bottom fishing right now. There's another one, Evo. Nice. What I did was I just cut off a strip off, off of that uh, leftover bait that I had. Nice. Uh, just a strip of squid. And it looks like it's a big scuff. Oh, it's a nice scuff. Beautiful scuff. Mr. <laughs> Scuppy. Oh, that's a nice scup, Phil. How big do they got to be? 10 inches. Oh, that's great. Scup, good eating fish right there. Oh, so we just set up for another drift. Oh, there's one too. We got, a, we got a double and a triple going on here right now, folks. This is unbelievable action. Wow, that's fantastic. We're on a hot spot now. Oh, we're in the school of sea bass by the looks of it. Yes, that was, that was pretty good. Hey, Phil. Yeah. Hey, you like that, eh, Doug? Yeah. I know you do. This guy's too small. Oh. Uh, we'll toss it back. We'll get some others. I need a new strip of squid. Okay. And you know what, folks? This T-turn, I want to tell you, the key to this rig, this T-turn swivel, I know for our subscribers, they've seen me use them all the time. They are ideal because not only does it avoid line twist because it's a three-way but it won't let you tangle up that's the key right here and I you know I've shown this demo many times even if I hold that swivel wrap this around when you drop your line down there if you're in deep water or in currents and tides you don't have to worry because as soon as you start moving what happens is that t-turn just wants to straighten out and that gives you a huge advantage when you're down there fishing knowing that you're not fishing with a tangled mess you're having good quality productive time on the water that's what it's all about right there folks this viper spoon is just flashing and fluttering up a storm down there <laughs> steady action this is bottom fishing folks at its absolute best and I've got myself another sea bass right there this one's kind of small well, he might measure, but we'll take a quick look at him. So, folks, the reason I like to explain a little bit about this setup. The reason I like to snap on that cattail sinker is because right now I've got 6-ounce sinker on there, which is nice to keep me down. And I would change my weight of my sinker depending on how fast we were drifting. If we were drifting faster, I might bump up to 9-ounce. Or if we were drifting a little slower, I might go to a 3-ounce uh, cattail sinker. And with that snap on there, it allows me to easily and quickly change setups. Uh, and also, the reason I've snapped on the Viper Spoon, as I mentioned, it allows for maximum action of the Viper Spoon, but it also allows me to change up colors if I want real quick. Now today, I'm running a gold. Phil, you're running... I got a gold Viper. You're running gold as well. Antonio, you're running what? Bleeding Pearl Chartreuse? Yeah. And our cameraman's running Bleeding Pearl, and Dougie's running gold and uh, a variety of colors today because you can't really go wrong with color the sun is shining you could use silver today because so silver is great in the sun it reflects and picks up the sunlight really nice but the reason I've opted for gold is because the water is a little bit stained a little bit dirty today and gold has great reflective qualities in stained or dirty or deep water so but either way you can't go wrong color selection the bleeding pearl chartreuse it's bright so it gives off a bright reflection all colors uh, today will kind of work for you. 
But uh, that's some of the reasons why using snaps, folks, work really, really well. They give you options and it makes it very, very quick and easy for any kind of change. It's a double header, folks. Hey, Phil, Phil hit first and then wham, well, mine hit. I got something smaller. What do you got, Phil? Looks like a sea bass. You got a sea bass? Yeah. A small one. Yeah. I got something decent. He's feeling like a sea bass too, but... Folks, what we're running today, we're running the strips of squid and whole squid, but you could run any bait you want. Live bait, cut bait, artificial bait, run whatever your favorite bait is. The Viper Spoon will accommodate all kinds of different baits and catch you all kinds of different fish. Good one. Oh, there's a nice sea bass right there, folks. We are catching a variety of fish today, let me tell you. And uh, if you're fishing salt water, we're using squid, squid will catch anything. But like I said, you could use your favorite bait. I'm running 17 pound fluorocarbon line, size SS20 Viper Spoons. And you know what, folks? We're just having a great time out here. If you like to fish the bottom at all, and you like to drift, this is a fantastic way to do it. If you get an opportunity, get yourself a rig like this. If you can't find any of these products, they're all Thunder Mist products. I'll put a link in the description below for you. But a lot of stores are carrying these products. And you know what, folks? It's a phenomenal system for any type of bottom fishing. And I hope wherever you are, that you have a great day on the water because we sure are today. Thanks so much for tuning in to today's episode of Thunder Mist Fishing Tips. And as always, folks, until next time, good luck and good fishing. Cut bait strip. And uh, there's no weight on here, although I am running a T-turn and a little teaser on my rig as well. And this is flatlining, folks. There's no weight. <laughs>